Hey, what's up guys? KSK here. In this video, we're going to take a look at a brand new, beautiful terminal emulator called Blackbox. Blackbox is a GTK4 terminal emulator which offers an aesthetic look. This app is written in Walla and uses GTK4 and Libadvata. The feature versions of GNOME will get the Blackbox pre-installed. As you can see, this is the first look at the black box terminal emulator. It seems freshly baked from the OM. To be honest, the black box is designed to focus on what you type and how you interact with the shell. It provides a distraction for user interface. The buttons on the top right are straightforward and minimal. In the middle of the header bar, it shows the shell prompt. Now the plus button is shifted towards the right compared to GNOME terminal which is used to create tabs. The hamburger menu offers more options which are used to customize the terminal or switch to full screen mode. Using preferences, you have all the options to tweak the terminal to make it look better as per your liking. Like GNOME text editor, Blackbox includes around 12 built-in themes. Applying any of the themes will affect the whole interface and not just the styling of the terminal output. If you are using Ubuntu 22.04, you can integrate it with the Yaru theme. There is a floating control that makes the buttons float from the top. This indeed enables a true immersive shell experience. Blackbox provides a nifty feature called remembering window size. If you change or adjust the size of the window, it will remember these changes. So next time when you reopen the application, it loads all the changes which are quite cool. Apart from this, you can change the terminal font family and font size using the built-in app font settings. Thanks to the black box, when easy copy and paste is enabled, you can use the generic copy and paste shortcuts like Ctrl C and Ctrl V. To make a black box more beautiful, I decided to install a shell named Fish, which is friendly to use. Now use your package manager to install Fish. Once it's done, type this command to see the list of shells installed on your computer. Now this is an install location of the fish. Then type this command to use fish as the default shell. Go ahead, log out from the system and log in back. If you reopen the black box, you can see the prompt has changed and looks different. To install Blackbox Terminal Emulator, first you need to set up a Flatpak Manager on your Linux system. Go ahead, check out this link for detailed instructions. Now once it's installed on your Linux distribution, head over to this link and copy the install command and paste it inside your default terminal. That's it, now you have installed Blackbox on your Linux distribution using a flat pack. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in my next one.